A very good evening to all ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rashwin Kaur and I'm from the uh, Christ International University, Para. So uh, I would like to share with all of you on uh, my upcoming project titled uh, Implementation of Strategies to Risk Manage the Medical Imaging Delivery Services of the Private Hospitals in Ipoh to be sustainable during the challenging pandemic outbreak. So I would also like to emphasize here that the pandemic outbreak that I will be referring to is just not merely the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, but also based on whatever pandemic that has happened before and could happen in the future as well, such as the uh, influenza pandemic outbreak. So I would also be uh, assisted by my uh, uh, supervisor, Dr. Jo Anna Claire, who is also the uh, senior lecturer of the uh, Christ International University. So uh, before I proceed further, uh, for those who are not very familiar with uh, the term radiology and also the imaging services, so I would like to give them a small uh, sneak peek and also the introduction on uh, what the imaging services really do. So the imaging services does play an essential role in uh, diagnosing the contagious disease during the pandemic that helps the consultant to actually look at the severity and also the progression of the virus. So uh, this is not only during the pandemic, we are there 24 7 actually to uh, serve our patients so uh, this actually helps the consultant uh, to decide on the further treatment based on um, the scans and uh, with the help of the imaging services modalities because uh, different disease would have different uh, treatment so the pandemic has uh, created a negative impact on the imaging services, I would say globally, as the radiology department all around the world has gone through uh, great challenges in order to uh, adapt, prepare, and also recover from the sudden wave of the pandemic. So the preparation of the survival for the post-pandemic future is necessary, and I'm going to repeat this, it's very important and necessary. Uh, it's because we shall somehow learn to live with the virus by now, and I think we uh, all have been learning to uh, live with the virus. It's been two years, uh, it's going to be three ever since uh, the COVID-19 actually uh, came along. So we are all learning. So, but, but we will have to learn to live with the virus in a more safer manner because we do not want to be spreading the virus all around, right? So in order to also be sustainable during the challenging pandemic outbreak. Okay, so why would I want to actually take um, this upcoming project of mine? Why would I want to do it? It's because the healthcare personnel globally has been struggling to manage patients and also the demands uh, in the resources, especially in the imaging services during the pandemic. So I personally can relate to this because uh, for me, coming from uh, the imaging services background has actually gone through this, especially during the pandemic whereby uh, we were all lack of resources such as the PPE, the gloves and the mask. So this has actually created a barrier for us to uh, actually serve our patients uh, like how we usually do back in the routine days. So, uh, and it also seems to be very challenging to prevent the cross infection uh, between the patient and also the staff. So it is very important that uh, such studies to be conducted to actually understand and prepare the strategies for the radiology services uh, to proactively deal with, uh, with uh, such situations in order to be sustainable uh, during any uh, future emergencies because we never know it might happen again. So in order for that, we will have to be more prepared for the future. Okay. So the pandemic has always been so sudden, right? Like nobody gets a phone call saying that uh, we're going to be coming, right? There's no emergencies. So that um, it has somehow not provided time for the uh, healthcare services to actually come up with a proper plan on uh, how to deal with the situation. So it is very important um, for the imaging services to be prepared and ready to face the pandemic that uh, might be useful for the future crisis and emergencies in order to be sustainable in the long term. So uh, this is also because the consultants would definitely send their patients to the imaging services first uh, in order for them to diagnose the disease for the consultants uh, to decide on the further treatment. So we as the imaging uh, services are the first services to um, come up with the diagnosis. So we will definitely need to be prepared for all of these things. 
So uh, the results of this study will also contribute in gaining and also earning respect uh, in the radiology field, especially for the radiographers. So since I brought this up um, in whereby uh, gaining and, and also earning respect, so this is whereby um, we as radiographers personally have always been labeled or known as merely the button pushers, which is definitely not true because uh, there is more to that. There is more to what we do. We just don't sit down there and just click a button and everything happens just right away. No, but uh, sadly, people don't get to see that side of ours that uh, we have put in so much effort and so much of hard work uh, to make sure that our patients get the best service. So uh, I really hope through this study, we can actually get um, some sort of recognition and also uh, the respect, most importantly, for the radiographers and also for the rest of the radiology team who has really worked hard in fighting against the virus as we cannot predict and assume right, the timing and also the severity of the future events. Okay, so uh, under my literature review, these are a few examples of uh, the studies that I have uh, read. So the image accusation can be done via the handheld ultrasound uh, devices directly linked uh, to the Wi-Fi or the portable external modem that can wirelessly send images to its providers. So the biosecure emergency room for epidemics, which is uh, known as a cube, which actually looks like a cube, is actually a waterproof uh, isolation unit uh, that can isolate a patient uh, for epidemics for several weeks. This is especially for those patients who has contagious disease. And this has actually been used in the Democratic Republic of Congo. So under the uh, practical alternatives, uh, this introduces the imaging booth for chest x-ray, so whereby patients can actually have their chest x-ray done without any contact and also the presence of the radiographer. So uh, this has got three benefits, so uh, whereby uh, it can actually improve the safety uh, with quicker scans and also uh, reducing the time needed to actually wipe down the equipment and also the exchange of air. So in terms of technology, since uh, we have been living in this uh, global world of technology everywhere, right? So the usage of the mobile uh, digital radiography known as the DR units instead of the conventional radiography units would be a solution um, in uh, the pandemic times nowadays. So the technical operations such as undertaking of the mobile radiography uh, through the side room windows. So uh, this has actually been done in the US and also the Saudi Arabia that uh, turned out to be a great success whereby the radiographer uh, can actually obtain the picture of uh, the patient's chest x-ray without actually entering into the examination room. So this can definitely reduce uh, the infection rate. So uh, at first this was actually a doubt uh, whether or not uh, the quality of the image would be the same as how we usually do it. But uh, surprisingly, it turned out to be a great success and we can actually learn something from this. So uh, artificial intelligence was also used in China for the CT scan, whereby uh, the automated patient positioning and scanning was, uh, was done uh, from the console room without actually entering into the examination room. And this can definitely reduce uh, the infection rate among the patients and also the staff. So portable CT scanners will be uh, safer for patients with uh, contagious uh, disease who do not need to be transported to the hospital. So this will also reduce the infection rate. Okay, so this is the conceptual framework of my uh, upcoming project, uh, whereby the strategies to risk manage is um, protocol for base image acquisition, practical alternatives, and also technology that will definitely lead to the long-term sustainability. Okay, so uh, I think I've given a few points on uh, why would I want to take up this upcoming project of mine. So the intention of conducting this uh, study is to implement the strategies to risk manage the imaging services in the private hospitals via the probability sampling to proactively deal with the challenging pandemic outbreak in order to sustain in the long term. And also, uh, we cannot be uh, carrying the same excuse all along saying that we were not prepared and we didn't know what to do and all these things because this has actually happened back then with the influenza and with the Ebola virus, but nothing much was done back then because probably it was not taken um, that seriously. So it's high time that we look at this in a serious manner and uh, we should come up with strategies for the future because if this eventually happens again, so at least we are prepared on and we also know on what to be done. 
and this will also save lives uh, whether or not the lives of the patients or their lives of uh, the staff so this matters a lot so that sums uh, whatever that i wanted to say so that is all from me thank you so much